What if I told you that you could quit your day job and replace your income selling on eBay? If I was you, I'd tell me that I'm full of crap because only you can make that decision. There are many things that you have to think about when you're start, start, start starting your eBay business. You have your average sale price, your average cost of goods, you have final value fees, hours spent sourcing, times to package, PayPal fees, trips to the post office, your time is money. Well, I am here offering you a solution to help you make that determination for yourself. Not only will we look at those items, but some of the other items that are associated with starting your own business. Sales tax, social security tax, federal income tax, Medicare, cost of medical insurance. Many of us have full-time jobs that all of these are figured into our salary. These are things that are going to have to be replaced if you start your business selling on eBay. Depending on your lifestyle, you have to consider your lifestyle now and whether you're going to be able to carry that lifestyle on in the future in your new eBay business. In order to make this plan a reality, all these items that we, I've discussed and listed out need to be taken into consideration. Can you replace your current income selling on eBay? Can you replace your income with an eBay business? That is for you to decide. Today I'm offering you a solution or a tool to help you make that decision. Make a calculated decision based on numbers that you input into the spreadsheet. I'm going to include a link down below for you to access the spreadsheet. It'll allow you to put in your listing goals, how many items that you're wanting to list and maintain in your store. It's going to allow you to plug in the average daily sell-through rate, which most people tout that 1% is the number. It'll allow you to modify final value fees, um, whether you own a store or whether you're an individual seller. Put in the number of days in a given month. I, I defaulted it to 30. It allows you to put in the number of hours that you'll be sourcing per week. The time that it takes you to list per item. Time to package. Time to deliver packages to the post office. Time is money. A lot of times we don't take into consideration our time involved in doing all these tasks because we're only looking at the final value or the final result when we can compare the final result to the cost of goods. It's going to allow you to put in the average state, local, federal taxes, tax rates, it throws in there a place to put Medicare, average, the average Social Security rate I put in there. And the one thing that I put in a lot of people aren't including in their calculations is I have a full-time job. My company allows me to purchase insurance, medical insurance, for myself and my family at a particular rate per month. That rate, when you're a self-employed individual is going to be higher. So it allows you to put in the average monthly premium of a family of four or your monthly premium that you, if you've checked into rates. I left the default at $1,000 because that was a national average from research I did on the internet. Anyway, I hope that the spreadsheet helps you out. I'm just here to tell you don't make rash decisions to automatically quit your job and start selling on eBay because somebody told me that you could make a living doing it. Yes, you can make a living doing it, but it may not be the living that you're used to. This is just a tool to allow you to make an educated decision based on numbers that you can input yourself and not just trust the word of another individual. Anyway, go ahead and hit the link below. That'll allow you to make a copy. It's on Google Drive and let me know if it helped you out, if it was educational, if you found it useful. Anyway, that's it for today. I'll catch you later. Peace out.